from Maple Valley, but just on the edge of Winfield. Um, in regards to the topic of overlay, you're looking at overlay, and I look at you are not looking at the future development of your township. What if you put this overlay area that has these certain restrictions, and you have Hush Puppy in Howard City. What if a big manufacturing plant wants to come out here? <coughs> They're not gonna be able to because of how you have zoned the overlay. What if somebody who has lots of property in that area wants, somebody sells it, kids don't want to farm it, it's sold. What if somebody wants to build apartment buildings or residential? I really feel that you are not, overlay is a bad idea, looking at the future of the township for jobs, growth, you're avoiding a lot of that by putting in overlay. Look at the future. she was referencing overlay and how you cannot have manufacturing come in to the township if you have overlay or you cannot sell the property and then having apartment complexes and a subdivision put up. But then people are complaining on how they don't like the looks of the turbines. I don't think many people would want a apartment complex next for them if they came here to move to the country for the quiet and the peace and they could go out and see the animals and then you've got somebody that sits there and says you guys are all kissing and packs asses quote unquote um, I think the fact that whether or not maybe hush puppy as was just brought up if they came you would be accused of kissing their ass you know so the fact is that you know what yes you were brought into represent your township. Every member of your township. Every member, whether or not they have a little bit of um, property or a lot of property. Mr. Scott said at one, one of the meetings that if everybody just went and spent $50 more on their property taxes, we wouldn't need the apex moon turbines Yay. for revenue. But right. let me tell you what, down in Ohio, down in Ionia, they just shot down a library because it was $50 a year per household within the city. If you don't think that people aren't going to vote for a library, the building was given to them. It was just moving the stuff and doing a few upgrades. But the building was given to them and they shot down $50 a year per household because they didn't want to spend that much more in taxes. I'm sorry, but if it's $50 per parcel, and Melissa's got parcels in two different townships, how much money do you think she's going to spend? Then finish your sentence, please. I will. Thank you. But I know you guys are on per, you have to think of every resident, not just the ones that are the loudest and yelling more so than the others, but every single one of them. But thank you. Oh. <laughs> We love you. Kevin Murphy, Winfield Township. I really wasn't going to speak. Um, if you can't hear me, I'll speak in the microphone. Sorry. Um, a lot of townships have set good ordinances where they feel they're safe, they're good for the community. They wouldn't have done it. They haven't spent $14,000 and how much more are they gonna spend? I know you're not gonna go to the next Maple Valley Township meeting because they voted on that last week. Why can't you take some of the good ordinances they are already written, duplicate them, look at them, compare you know, 10 of them if you want, and say, okay, this is an average. We got four times the height, or we have this or that, and maybe that would save a lot of time and hassle for everybody. And in the long run, we 
we'd still be friends. So please think about that. Thank you. Robert Scott, uh, Sydney Township. Um, back in February, APEC did a presentation to Pine Township telling about all the millions of dollars are, that this project is going to generate. Uh, and uh, I did an analysis of that. Um, I took slide pictures of all the slides that they used and went through the analysis. And uh, if, you, if you break it all down, uh, each in Pine Township, <laughs> your township is going to be a whole lot different because your Monday's, Monday's villages are going to be very similar to yours. In Pine Township, it was going to raise, uh, on average, 16, just under $17,000 a year per turbine for the township. But if you do the math and you look at the fact that Pine Township has 870 residents, that's nine bucks per resident per year. That's what they get from having an apex turbine in their township. Nine bucks a year. Yours is probably, you have a few more people here, maybe yours is eight bucks, or you can seven bucks a year for each resident in your township. To do the math on what some of you are going to receive if you have a turbine on your property, it's $18,000 a year. $18,000 a year. So if you're going to do what Apex wants you to do, you're not representing your residents, you're representing you. Thank you. Circus show. 
his opinion. I sit there with facts, 38 studies, all through there, scientific studies, 38 doctors, all contradicting what their doctor said about the health effects, along with a NASA study about the health effects of turbines. I'm sure you all heard them. You know I hear them over again because you know I hear things over again. People bring the paperwork, you basically throw it away. But 38 doctors, they're all wrong, but the APEC bought and paid for doctor at the Circus Soul show at the fairground, he's right. Really? Bought and paid for. Whole circus show. They're even the guy announcing it or running it, asking questions to their so called sound specialists. He sounds like a second grader with his questions because he sounds like a freaking idiot. And you gotta fill out your card and hand it in. He's sorting through. He ain't gonna answer those or ask those questions. I ask my own. That way I can get a response. It's all bought and paid for. And what do you guys are? Some of you conflicting officials. What do we gotta do? Want to dine in a little more than they do? Slip more money under the table than they do to get you on our side? Is that what we gotta do? Really? You guys are all bought and paid for. We need a little money on your table because you're conflicting freaking officials sitting there. Really? Finish your sentence, please. I already did. Thank you. You should be ashamed of yourself, sir. All of you. You too, fellas. You should be ashamed of yourself. How is your mom and dad doing, Joe? Um, if there was one decision that you could make with greater potential to destroy the character of your township and its quality of life, I don't think there's another one that I can think of that would have the greater potential than putting industrializing industrialize your township with these monstrous wind turbines. How many of you have actually looked at other communities and studied other communities that have put these tur turbines in their community. Have any of you looked at these other uh, communities? Any of you, uh, raise a hand. I want to know if two people, maybe three. The, the devastation that takes place in these communities overrules any individual rights anybody has to use their property for these things. <laughs> I would like to read a little bit of an excerpt from a letter from my friend David Stevens over in Gratiot County. It says, I have a great deal of experience in this area. I had a front row seat. My home, my community, my church, my school district, and my quality of life have been severely damaged. My home is in, in uh, near the intersection of Gratiot, Saginaw, and Midland. Um, turbine nu nuisances have damaged every township and county they have hosted in. Huron, Tuscaloosa, Gratiot counties host the most turbines. These counties also have the highest depopulation rates over the past 10 years of all rural counties in southern developed Michigan. You are going to lose people. You are going to lose interest. You are going to lose population and tax dollars all over the place. The money that you think you're going to get, you aren't going to get. You are going to depopulate your your. Uh, uh, township. In 2012, please turbines, finish your sentence, sir. In the past eight years, my church closed, three nearest hardware uh, stores closed, two nearest party stores closed, nearest grocery store closed, the small newspaper closed, and the local golf course closed. But the greatest damage has been done to local school districts, where 45% of, of, of these school, school districts have lost populations. You are making a right, decision. Thank you. That will, that will impact this township forever. And, and you have not studied what, it, what the effects it has had on other townships. That's a crime. That's criminal. Yes. Thank you.
I'm Ian Hillis, Montcalm Township, Montcalm County, and this is a county issue. Um, I really wasn't going to say anything tonight either, but I heard some people say th some things. Gentleman on the on the PC mentioned that it wasn't fair to exclude smaller parcels. It fair. This isn't a question of fairness. This is a question of safety. Uh, Kyle indicated that people that wanted larger setbacks, like 4,000 feet, 3,000 feet, maybe even 2,500 2, feet, were people that just didn't want them. That's not true. It's not that we're, we, we are not, we're labeled as anti-wind, but we are pro-safety. We've given many, many, much information out about the possible safety issues, for example, with infrasound. There's not a lot of conclusive study out there so air on the side of safety, it may be 10 years down the road before somebody has a heart problem that's, that's a cause, has been caused by the infrasound. These things pulsate. I know you've heard all of this. You know, I don't, don't really go on and on about it, but you can't, you can't say what we think and why we're motivated to be against these things. You like to do that because that gives these people more confidence to go with your suggestions. But... You don't know why we're doing this, so maybe you need to change your vernacular, you know, when you're um, telling people what they're thinking and why they're doing things. Safety is a huge issue here, and exclusionary isn't even isn't even a, a question anymore. It's okay to exclude. It, it's all right to exclude. We had a wonderful um, man from Chicago who used to be a circuit court judge in Grand Rapids come and explain it all to us. And I know you've all heard about that. You've all received paperwork on that. It, you don't have to be fearful of the lawsuits anymore. We have adjacent counties that are already producing this sentence. electricity. Um, and I'd just like to point out, Albert said we in Michigan. Albert's from Minnesota. First thing regarding property rights, I really do believe in personal property rights, and you do have a right to do things on your own property. You own your land. The sky belongs to all of us. You don't own the sky. We all have a right to enjoy our property. We all pay taxes to enjoy our property. So one person is wanting to put up a 700-foot turbine is not more important than someone who does not want to see that. Even if a setback is far enough, you're still going to see it. The other thing I'd like to point out is, as an observer, because I'm not from Winfield Township, I don't really know many people in Winfield Township, the only people in your township tonight who have spoken in favor of wind turbines are, are you on the Planning Commission. So I just want to point that out. I, I really hope that you reconsider some of the things that you're talking about in favor of the majority of people, because as an observer, it appears as most people are speaking out against them. Thank you. Brian O'Shea, also from uh, Apex Clean Energy. I thought there was a really good discussion happening about property rights and setbacks and what's the, the interaction between the two. Uh, when you have a two times setback from a property line, let's say it's a one acre parcel, that takes, that's basically a 120 acre buffer. Now draw a circle around that, around that house that's about 120 acres. That's a quarter mile, that's a, a two times height setback. Now transfer that to a four times height setback, it's a half mile setback, you know, roughly. Now you're talking about 500 acres. So really what you're trying to decide with setbacks is, you know, how much participating property should that non-participating property be able to take away and have control over? So if you're in a section, the whole section signed up, you know, that one acre, should that one acre control a 120 acre buffer around him or a 500 acre buffer around him? So I think that's something worth thinking about in effect, uh, you know, where wind turbines could be sited in the, in the township. Um, lastly, there was a lot of talk about, about safety and, uh, you know, People bring up this 1640 number that has no basis in actual reality. It's from an old safety manual, and I think some of you guys have gotten an article about that before. Um, I've heard people say, you know, Pam came up here and said that, uh, you know, we're not anti-wind, we're, we're for safe wind. And But, you know, if you look at the, the, the back of the sweatshirt and some of the stickers, this, they don't say 
safe wind. They don't say appropriately sighted wind. They say no wind. So I think the position of folks who want to see this four times setback is, is abundantly clear. Exactly. The goal is to exclude the land use from the township, not to allow a responsibly designed wind project. Thanks. No wind, Rosemary Murphy, Winfield Township. I'd like to buy one of your safety lands. I'll pay for it right now. Yeah, they can't buy them. That's 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 all this is about money. It's greed, people. Yep. It's all about money. Do you think they tax us here? Do you think they're here? Please address the committee. You don't need oh, to talk to Oh, I'm sorry. Do you think they're here? for your safety, your schools, your community. No. That's all bull. It's money. All you people that have signed, it's about money. You don't care about the schools, the safety, the what else? The roads, what the jobs. Oh, I'm so impressed with you. I'm so embarrassed actually to be in this township. You've made the the papers real well. Our township is known for how inept you are. Thank you. Derek Black, lifelong resident of Winfield Township. Uh, I'm for these wind turbines. I think that uh, there's something that's needed, but it has to be done in a safe manner and respectful to non uh, or whatever you want to talk participating. Through. So, yes, I do think that uh, there was some said that there was nobody here to support <laughs> other than you guys, and that's not true. Thank you. Hi, I'm Wendy Smetala, and I live in Douglas Township. I usually travel with posters. I didn't today. My posters are about the dangers, the dangers of these turbines. A university professor at Reuters came up with a calculation. I'm just going to leave you with this calculation because a lot of the discussion tonight was tech -like. On a 400-foot turbine, the throw for fire, debris, and ice can be 1,600. 1,680 feet. Do the math. That is four times tip height. Oh, it's almost 500. Well, yeah, it's close to 500, but I won't press my luck. Four times tip height. That is criminal if you do not do that because you are putting every single citizen in danger if you don't do four times tip height, not hop height, tip height. <coughs> And the other thing I'd like to do is, um, Kelly? Yes. You talk about respect. Ma'am, you need to address the committee. Okay. You don't need to talk to the crowd. I'm sorry. This is not personal. This is Kelly's always repetitively expressing respect. She's been very disrespectful tonight. I just wanted her to know how I felt. So please, do justice to your citizens. Do four times Tip Thank you. Anybody else? Linda Browns, I have no intentions of speaking tonight. But I have so much has been on my mind. Yes. Douglas. No, I'm sorry, Douglas. Um, <laughs> I'm confused from everywhere these nights. All of you up here, except for Kyle, live in one of the be most beautiful areas of the state. Our whole state is gorgeous. The sunrises and sunsets lately have been phenomenal. I really love them, and I appreciate them even more with a fear of us possibly losing that. Some of you may say that those windmills, turbines are beautiful. I don't see it. And it's a benefit financially for those that's signing. 
I was tearing the community apart. These are your neighbors and family and friends. You know, you shouldn't be in such turmoil and such total opposite sides of the spectrum up here. It's almost like a lack of respect because the couple may speak out. The other ones don't want to speak out because you're going to go extreme the other way because they want the turbines. Just, you have an attorney here that you don't need. You guys can do it. You're educated enough that you should be able to come together and agree on something safe for the community. at Maple Valley Township. I don't know if any of you guys were at Maple Valley a few weeks ago when Rick and Pat Altman were there, but Pat Altman himself said that there, there is proof that these turbines do not benefit anybody outside the thumb. They have populated the thumb so much with them that they can't put any more there, so now they're trying to come this way, but there is going to be no benefit for Montcalm County as far as these go. And as others have said tonight, you don't need Kyle. We did vote on it at Maple Valley at our last board meeting that with the amount of money you guys are spending for him to set here, he dropped, he's charging you from the time he leaves till the time he gets home. You're paying over $1,000 for him to set here tonight. And you don't need to. You can work on your ordinance and you can send it to him after a few times of working on it and he can give you suggestions and you can send it back and you're gonna spend a few hundred dollars. You're wasting all your township's money by him sitting here. He doesn't need to be here. And if you're having such a problem on your, or your tip height for your thing, maybe you ought to try setting a height on your turbine first before you do your blade, your height going that way for your setbacks because it'll give you guys a better idea. You don't have to have a six or 700 turbine because that's what they say. You guys pick how high that turbine is, not Apex or any other energy company. Thank you. Uh, my name is Renee Smith. Um, from where? I'm from Michigan. You didn't ask Apex where they were from, so I'm from Montcalm County. I live in Montcalm County. I pay taxes here. Um, Number one, things I want to reiterate. First thing is your 500-foot uh, turbine in the safety manuals from VESTA that they are now refuting, saying that that doesn't exist. I actually have that. So if you all would like that, I'd be happy to supply it to you. Uh, but it does say that the, a 500-foot turbine should be 1,640 feet back for safety reasons. So if you calculate the 670 that is suggested by Apex for Montcalm County, that equals 2,197.6 feet for a safety setback. So why you would go any less, that makes no sense. So you need that's where you need to be thinking of is a minimum of the 2,197.6 feet. Second thing is on sound and noise, as you get to that, even though you didn't really talk about that tonight, the WHO, uh, the World Health Organization, recommends 45, no more than 45 during the daytime, and 30 from a bedroom at nighttime. So I need you to really take that into consideration because that is the WHO recommending that for noise. Um, so I don't know why you would go anything above that either. Setbacks, you guys argued a long time about setbacks. That can be fixed very easily by adding a waiver to your ordinance, plain and simple. The other townships are doing it. So, um, you know, you can do a setback to say it's four times. It's not going to ex exclude the neighbor that's next door that only has 20 acres if he or she chooses to sign that waiver and allow you to do that. Um, so that would cut that out completely. Um, earlier, Apex or Albert said the word scheduled when he said that uh, a certain township, uh, I believe it was Beale City, uh, is scheduled to uh, get some money. But where's the proof of that? They still, I don't think, to date, have shown any proof. Okay, time's up. Please finish your statement. Okay. And then the last thing that I want to say um, is about Kelly. I don't even know her. I've been to a ton of meetings. She's always disrespectful. So tonight actually surprised me that she went over and above by doing the low blow about Joe's parents. I think that you need to understand that when she did that, that's Apex speaking, and that's what Apex is doing to our community.
Anybody else? I brought notes to keep it short. First of all, thank you all for coming. I represent the church and I apologize about the heat. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Mark Graham, uh, Winfield Township. I think safety is a big concern. I also think aesthetics are important, and I agree that we should set a, a, set a height limit, whatever that is, to start with, and then go for the setbacks. Um, but safety is a big concern. I also want to make a point that every zoning ordinance is going to simultaneously protect the rights of some and infringe on others, whether it's, I, you know, if I want to have a toxic waste dump in my uh, five acres, um, I could say I have a right to that, and somebody else is going to say, you know, my neighbors and anybody that drinks the water is going to say I don't. And you have to balance the rights. Um, I think also that uh, setbacks will necessarily limit development, as will overlays. That was mentioned earlier. That if you set, whatever you set the set heights at, um, a farmer who has those is not going to be able to maybe put houses along that that edge of the property like so many farmers uh, do. Um, and I agree with the idea of a survey. I think that would be really helpful for you and us, for all concerned. Um, and this last comment is when, you know, all the, before wind turbines, as far as I know, came to Michigan, they were, somebody proposed putting them over by Martha's Vineyard, where all the, all the rich liberals live, and a lot of the Washington people have to take their vacations. And it's an excellent place to have them offshore. They were going 10 miles offshore, which wouldn't be visible over the horizon, and they had an absolute fit about that. Just something to think about. Thank you. Anybody else? Okay, at this time we'll close public comment. Given the time frame here, if we want any further discussion, or otherwise, I'd entertain the motion to adjourn. Um, I do want to say quickly, I went to the um, Tennessee Valley Conference and Development Retreat at that they were, you know, chosen to present uh, to, to um, conscious across the state. 